Hi guys, Jeff here, and welcome to Soma. Soma, for those who don't know, is the follow-up release from Frictional Games, makers of Amnesia The Dark Descent, which is lauded as probably one of the scariest horror games ever made. Soma, I don't know much about it, and I, I purposefully remained in the dark about that. All I know is that it's a sci-fi horror game, and it looks like it might be based underwater just from some screenshots that I saw. Um, like I said, I tried to remain as much in the dark as possible. I watched, I think, one trailer for the whole thing that just got me really excited, and uh, and I don't know what to expect. So I can't wait to just kind of dive in right away and and get into this game and, uh, and see all the awesome little details and mystery that there is to uncover, because I'm sure there's some kind of overarching mystery, because that's what Frictional Games does. So let's start, shall we? Yes, so I quickly started the game just to get my graphic settings, but let's get started for real. I like the brain loading animation, that's cool. It's like a MRI scan. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Philip K. Dick. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. Christ. Woo. Awesome. Hey, I have legs. Oh, here we Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Wow, cool. So here we are. This is nice. So this is the um, HPL Engine version 3. Uh, HPL... Tracer fluid. We'll get to that. Um, HPL Engine is what was running on um, the original Penumbra games, and uh, HPL 2 was Amnesia of the Dark Descent, and now this is HPL 3, which um, I can already tell is going to be a very pretty looking engine. So it's a, it's an in-house engine that they built themselves. It's very on, radioactive tracer. Yes, fluid. we'll get Where to it. You? Shut up. Um, and it's very based on physics and movement. So you, you know, like we were seeing in Layers of Fear, I can kind of slide things open by interacting with with them with the mouse and everything like that. Which these guys did it. Well, I don't know if they did it very first, but they certainly have done it best. So, anyways, I'll shut up. We'll kind of look around this apartment and see what there is to see. Ooh, look at that. So, unlike Layers of Fear, you can kind of just pick stuff up and play with it. Um, like, it's way more physics-based, which is cool. And, uh... What do we got here? Hooked. Oh, that's a cool design. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught... Sorry, Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to make take the family on the vacation to Hawaii they've always been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise soon and uh, swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from below the waves. Suddenly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way. They're caught by the vicious tendrils. Cool. Now I want to read this now. 
Well, not right now. Cool, man. Oh, okay, so you can pick it up and then you can view the tip. Oh, uh, clever. I like it. Cool. Oh, wait. Is that some kind of battery or something? What is this? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, so you can kind of move objects closer and further away by using the mouse wheel, which is always really cool. And then you can throw them, because throwing things is fun. Oh, okay. You just wait. Stay there. Okay, so let's kind of see what we have to see around here. I can tell you right now, just from having played Layers of Fear coming fresh off of that and into this engine, the, even things like moving the um, the drawers and things like that is way smoother. Like, they've put a lot of care into that aspect of their engine. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend? Or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss you mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? <laughs> nice. What do we have here? Oh god, oh god, uh, let's go over here. Sorry, um... Yeah, wow, you can literally pick up anything in this game. I'm not gonna touch that beautiful SLR camera, because I'll break it. Okay. Yeah, a lovely. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So many things. Ah, everything's flashing. I don't know what to look at first. Uh, what do we got here? It's just my sketch pad. I guess. It will soon love them. Because I. Oh, right. So I had some kind of an accident. Head trauma, which I think is. Probably going to... Oh, there's going to be a lot of stuff to read. So, if you want to read this, maybe pause it. But I think I'm going to try to be careful to kind of read things that are more... Narrative-oriented. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. Because they make these so dense, these games. Japanimation, bigger than ever. They still call it Japanimation? Certainly did when I was a youngster. Downtown accident kills young woman. Toronto! Woohoo! Toronto! Hey! Awesome! That's like an hour from here. Uh, yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina. I've been there! The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised, but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, which is me, I think, survived, but with complicated results, believed to be leaving him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by the public, claims blah, 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 blah practically unavoidable. Huh. Well, so... Yeah, so I lost my girlfriend, or friend, maybe, I don't know. Okay, David Munchy, Neurograph Session. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a se scan session for Saturday. I will get back to you when confirmed. This is sincerely, David Munchy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your least touch your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still easy to tell. The bleeding will continue over the coming months. Ugh. So we have to keep going back to the hospital to drain my brain cavity. Um, I'm taking Prazosin to help me with my nightmares. Great. Nightmares in a frictional game. That's great. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oops. Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot there's a doctor's appointment tomorrow, I'm not coming into work. Oops. 
means you may please unpack the boxes behind the counter so they're starting to become more face hazard hmm I think I work in a bookstore let's send this email better late than never yeah I don't disagree so I like the little operating system if you ever played penumbra um they they had the little kind of mock operating system on all the computers too which is kind of fun uh all right anything else to check out here no right watching tv gives me headaches now thank you brain no disc massive recoil nice okay is there a light switch in here? Man, it's dark. Ah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Simon Jarrett, Toronto, Canada. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> a Canadian protagonist for once. A bit fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Mm-hmm. Remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. Oh wow, it like just happened. Oh god, my milk. Uh, we'll just put that over there for now. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be Canadian in a game for once. It's very rare. All right. Well, we've been in this room for a while. Ooh. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Very nice. Outside environments. Oh yeah, look at the frosted windows. Very pretty. Well, I'm liking it. Oh, we gotta take a shower. My. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. All right. You have a fair point. I don't want to keep my audience waiting either. I'm just kidding. You're going to have to sit through all of me interacting with everything. Okay. I really should drink the tracer oh, the fluid tracer fluid. see Dr. Munchie. Right. Was that in the fridge? Uh. Nope. Tracer fluid. Where... Where would I be if I was tracer flu? Oh, I bet you it's in. Oh, I was gonna say I thought it would be in the bathroom. Okay, I have an object. Now I'm going to <laughs> mouth it. Here we go. Put it in the mouth. Put it in your face, old. It's like milk, but the taste—it's like sucking on a penny. Yuck. Okay, now can I go? Yay. Loading. Ooh, where are we now? <gasps> oh, it's a TTC train. Oh, it's good. Right on. That's awesome. Toronto Transit Commission subway. And uh, they're not. I Well, I've been on one this scuzzy, actually. <laughs> Jesse, the grimoire. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, Dying thing. <laughs> Dying thing? <laughs> You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Wow, they really got this accurate. I mean, I've been on... Find me in a phone booth. Toronto... Oh! Also, I wanted to mention the character models. You don't see character models in fictional games games. Um, very often. Um... And it looks like they've now got the 
the tech and the budget to, to cover that, which is awesome. Ooh. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Oh. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. <gasps> ah, I'm in Toronto! Oh, that's so cool. Right on. There's the CN Tower. That's very cool. Looks like I'm near, might be near Nathan Phillips Square, if I had to guess. And I'm, I'm not super up on Toronto locations just because I don't live there. But oh, what do we have here? Trial and error. Put the scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Uh. Brain skin can tell it compensate to heal itself. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise therapy and medication. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at these. Munchie and Berg. Interesting. Still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from Pace Laboratories, who's promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. Interesting. So, interesting. So it looks like we've got some perhaps. Oh, geez. Oops. Uh, uh, experimental brain treatment happening here. Oh, I really shouldn't snoop, but I'm gonna do it anyways. David Munchie, Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. Get a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. Not a lot. It would allow us to use their computers to run models. Uh, we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. Hmm. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us, but the code changed. So I called security. Talked to Professor. Uh, finally got a hold of someone in pieces. Uh, not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay, so there's got to be a note around here somewhere uh, for the code to get into the biometrics lab. I was a note. I would be at the desk somewhere taped to something. Get out of there. Ooh, it's so pretty. Um No. Aha. Ha ha ha! Duh, duh, duh. Is this it? Two five zero one. Okay, let's try that. Hey, nice, nice. So one thing I'm not sure is whether my I've got my software set up to that you can see my cursor. So if you can't see it in this episode, um, I'll turn it on for the next one because there's a lot of a lot of cursor activity, a lot of different types of uh, our interactive icons that are showing up and stuff. So just to give you an idea what the gameplay is like. Ooh, cool. It's very dark in here. Oh, wow. Fancy. What are they doing? Scan calculation in progress. Hmm. It's quite the setup they've got here. Okay. Ah. Aha! Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes I did. Great. 
Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Wow. They've come a long way with their character models. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Wow. Look, fancy calculations and things happening on computers. I, I like this. I approve. Please have a seat. Yes, I, yes, I approve. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll have a seat. Can I talk to you one more time? So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, let's do it. I'm excited. I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Whoa! We're going in. We are going in. Oh, the sound is amazing. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Mm, foreshadowing. Say cheese. Oh god. What's happening? Mr. Munchie, did something go wrong? Oh, it's dark. This isn't uh, funny. Uh, I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... Oh, my God. In stressful situations, I think he's going to say. This is kind of stressing me out. Ah. Ah, the hell is this place? How did I get here? Wow. Wow, cool. Some dive suits. <gasps> this is cool, man. Pathos 2. Omnitool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omnitool with fully customizable tools and assistance. Insert Omnitool to access, which I don't have. What is that? Hmm. Oh, blood on the floor. Great. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to get back on the chair now. Oh boy. So where's my Omni tool? Unlock terminal from service console. Where's the service console? Uh, I'm so confused. Interesting. Korean, Japanese? I say Japanese. Where's my Omni tool? Nice. Omni tool. I want it. Or do I just do. Where do I get the freaking Omni tool? Ah, I feel stupid. <sighs> Dr. Hazard. Am I not looking close enough here? Okay. Console. Oh, toolbox. Is there a button to push? Okay, so there... 
Yeah, so there's a toolbox. I have to unlock that. Fuck. Huh. Oh, I can't wait for... Oh, that's heavy. Let's try it. Oh, God. A bad shot. Let's try this again. Oh, I'm out. Locked. Wow. Ooh, boy. Well, pneumatic seal. I was locked in. Can I get it now? Hold on. Just want to double check. Unlock from service console. Service console. Insert Omni tool to access. So I'm, I am assume I'm going to have to come back with my Omni tool. Wow, this place is very Bioshock esque. I like it. Data buffer. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you to Theta safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Interesting. How did I do that? Interesting, so they've... What is that? Oh boy. That's... That's not normal. So I'm guessing that... Whoever was here is no longer here and looks like they were in a hurry to get out and they unlocked a bunch of stuff. What are you? So it's a door, switch. Is there anything interesting in here? We have a comb, people, we have a comb. Back off, I have a comb. All right, well, this is sufficiently creepy and disgusting. Air purifier units, first aid, I like this. Jump scare number one, oh. I, uh, I always wonder about interactive bathrooms in video games. Like, what's the... I, you know, I guess it's realism and everything, but... Nobody ever goes to the washroom in video games, so... Alright, well... As much as I really want to continue forward... I think we're just about out of time for this episode. Let's open one more door, come on. Let's just check out. Oh, oh. Why am I glitching? What? What the fuck? Weird. I wonder if that's the... Am I in danger? I hope I'm not in danger. I'm not ready for danger. Wow. Does not like that thing. I don't like that thing either. Shut you down now, 
clear. <laughs> What the hell is that? Uh oh. Hey, you. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So something. Oh god! Do you hear that? Oh god. Ugh! Something's happening. This thing's gone. This thing was here. Now it's not here. I don't like it. Oh god. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> it broke the door. Hello? Oh, guys, I don't know. Okay. All right. Oh, God. I'm liking this already, guys. Okay, I'm going to have to leave it here. I'm out of time. But uh, we'll continue forward ASAP. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, if you'd like to, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to join you guys in part two. Take care. Cheers.